Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Red Flood as we're smiling with our good daddy leader, Paul Joseph G. So last time we established that uh, Austria, they were a little difficult to take out. So let's get to a couple comments including that Austria apparently was supposed to be relatively difficult, or at least a little bit, because it's very militarized apparently in this mod. So it wasn't very easy for me to take them out last time, but we did still manage to make the commune here in Austria, which is very nice, led by a Reich, even though we just took out the Austrian Reich. Cool. Apparently, a couple of people have comments saying that Austria actually has a pretty good focus tree. Normal Austria, not the Austrian commune, because the Austrian commune has a generic focus tree. Cool, whatever. I'll play as hopefully as Austria someday in this mod, uh, which gives us to the other comments, such as play as other nations in Red Flood, which I will get to someday as well. Especially someone recommends I do the Escad Escadron France sometime, and apparently Antonin Art Artoad, Art Artoad, Artaud was a real-life person. Yeah, huh. Accelerationism, huh? That sounds like a fun real-life uh, ideology. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just, I will get to more nations as time goes on. Maybe even try Prussia. Do they have a unique focus tree? No, they don't. But this Prussia... For some reason, under Ernst Junger does. Not regular Prussia, but the Prussian Congo does. Uh, a couple of things, such as comments, if I can speak correctly right now. And someone recommended I group up my infantry more together into like one singular command to make it easier. I could do that, but apparently I like a little bit more of a challenge while having different armies and different generals. Another one is use expert AI mod. Yes, I'm going to use that eventually, at least in one campaign. I plan on using that in vanilla or Rota 56, uh, just because I'm a little more used to vanilla or Rota 56. And I, this, for Red Flood, I'm still a noob at it. Um, so I really don't know what's going to happen, but I'm interested in it. And that might, that was pretty much all the comments in general. Of course, using Dr. G here. We'll call him Dr. G. PJG. Uh, Nazball time? I don't know, we'll see what happens. But let's do a focus. I've talked long enough without taking any focuses, so we should probably do a focus. Lose some field marshals, maybe. Political power, that's really nice. Construction speed, I like that. I love building stuff up. More organization, less planning speed, more attack. Memory of the trenches. Grossa Bruder. Weekly stability, that looks really nice. That looks really, really nice. 5%. Volksführer. Ooh, faster just by war goals times. We could spread the revolution so we can do Pan Germanismus. We'll get more cores. I like that. I really like that. Cool. Uh, I really don't know which one's better. Wirtschaftskommission or Central Planned Economy? Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Militarize. Uh, that's okay. Uh, what do we have here? Red Thunder. Rota Luftwaffe. Mm -hmm. Seems okay. Division, defense, attack, infantry equipment, political power gain, I like that one a lot. Free repair is okay. Factory repair speed, that's a little worse. Resistance growth, let more resources. Root out resistance, emission efficiency. Hmm. 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 Electronics wouldn't be bad either, but you know what? Screw it. We'll just go with... Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. It makes it easier. Breaking the Hamburger points. While Democratic Army might be the most morally best choice, to fight the Russian brutes or French traitors, we need an army disciplined and strong. And right now, we are currently helping out the Spanish. And we encircled a few divisions with a few weak-ish tank boys. Yes, tank boys. Put the hurt on them. Come on, you guys can do it. They're only a Spanish state division. And we shall have them. Cool. Do we have planes here? Yes, we do. Increases by two. Thank you very much. Oh, cool. You know what? Send both of you to the capital, or at least close to the capital. Um, if we want to do another encirclement, where would we do it? I'm thinking. Come right here, and we go to Zaragoza, and we're gonna get two over. Wow, two political power day. That's really nice. Holy cow! Fuel refining. It's 1936. Man, yesterday's episode. We didn't even get to 1937 yet. That is a little nuts. But we do have six research slots, so. It's not bad. It's not bad. Go ahead on over here. Cool. Modify this. Zada goes up. Must be taken. Cool. You guys should be able to do that. Should. They can't pierce us yet, so. I'm feeling pretty good about that. We're on high over there, which is nice. We definitely need a little bit more fuel. We definitely need more guns, artillery, support equipment, and light tanks. Good lord, we need so much. So much. 
Go ahead and take that division out. So we can encircle and destroy two more. We have some more of this, which would be nice. Oh, capital ship, heavy bomb, manufacturers. Could do anything for tanks. Soft attack, hard attack, soft attack, max speed. Um, ooh, which one do I, I don't know. I'm using light tanks right now. It might be best just to use light tanks. We get more speed and soft attack. What are we going to do with this right here? Artillery. I, I love artillery so much. Well, since we're using them, can I do anyone here? No, we cannot. Go with that for now. Maybe we'll open up party membership as well. We probably will. Actually, party membership. Yeah, we could definitely use more party membership. But getting two political power day, I mean, that's pretty nice. Not gonna lie, that's pretty darn nice. So, can't appear to us, which is ideal. We have the roll to guard. You guys come up here. And I'm gonna throw all y'all right there. We're gonna. And also, apparently, France, Annex, Belgium. I'm not really sure how to feel about that yet. I'll let you know, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. But I really don't like that. France, please. Please, France. Please. Why? You bunch of crazies. Hey, we got him. No, we did not get him yet. We got him soon. Cool. The Grosse Sauberung. With the state under our control, we must root out those who are weak, traitorous, or deceptive. Only by freeing army and state from their influences, we can be victorious. Good. Come on, you guys got this. Manstein, you're doing a great job. Ernst Tailman, you're doing okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, could you help out, please? This would go more smoothly if you helped out. We're getting any sort of air XP at all? Not really too much. Eh, a little bit, but not too much. Go up, go up by double. Nice. Naval gunnery, good. Yeah, we still gotta focus on this stuff, too. Uh, light cruisers would be nice. Throw that on there. We are in no position to make more ships yet, though. Improved fast battleships. Great war. This one's okay to use. But we already kind of have this. So, is there really, was there really any point for me to even make that, then? Maybe not. Because this, let's see. 8.4. Yeah, these, hmm, maybe I research this for no reason, really. But I guess it's for 1940 ships, so that's always good. Wow, they really don't like us. Keep one guy here, let the other one just go ahead. Go, go, just don't let him in. One guy's holding the entire time, which is nice. Open up a little bit of party leadership. A membership, really. Keep building, keep building. Aw, oh, crudderinos. Gotta wait, because they really don't want us to win. Oh, we actually lost. Well, one of our divisions gave up. Cool. Three. Two. We're gonna go again. The Grosso Saberun. And rehabilitation camps. Yeah, let's do that. So those who have betrayed the revolution have to be put back on the right path, and what better way to do this than through hard, brutal, manual labor? Ah, uh, I love it. Go and grab one more thing of fuel. Venezuela, thank you. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be very nice. Manchdan, I hope you're learning a lot, my friend. Urban Assault Specialist would be good. Yeah. If this is the case, I'm gonna actually lower you by like eight. Because I'm gonna use wait. Motorized right here. Rota Guard is the one we want. Because I'm gonna put you guys over here so we can have another army land force that way. So that'd be nice. Come on, you guys got this. It's just Zaragoza. That's all. Coming in organizer is always nice. The only thing we have spare of is motorized, which is not ideal right now. Are these really the tank divisions that these are literally the only the tank divisions that we have. Wow, no wonder they're not winning that well. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. How much does that cost? Eh, it costs quite a bit of more motorized, which is okay. Cool. Let's kind of hang up for now. Maybe we'll send the stronger one over first and have you guys help support the attack. That'd be kind of nice. Destroy those two divisions, even though you just... <laughs> they lost three divisions. Are you serious? Ah, uh, that is not smart. I wonder if I could still break them out, though, maybe. Perhaps. Oh, yeah, they actually have Madrid. That's kind of nice. Let's see. Ivilia. Oh, can't do that. Oh, yeah, keep going, keep going. We must build... 
It's only 37, so just build, 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 build the bonanza out of you. Get both of these guys here first. Rehabilitation camps? I love them. Um, Control the media? Seems like a good idea. Requires 1, 2, 3. Less stability, but more weekly stability. Alright, cool. So we need to abolish the councils and control the media. Oh, let's go back, abolish the councils. So the councils have served the revolution well, but they are simply a nuisance now. Standing in the way of the Ger Germany's destiny. We need to do away with them. Of course, naturally. Revolutionary parade, less division organization, more weekly war support. I approve of that. I'm actually going to attack this direction, not here, because these guys are much weaker. Which would be very nice. Three. Even more effective air force. Good. Um, we're going to grab this immediately. We could probably use it. And we got six research slots, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, they still have two divisions here, but we're still winning, which is nice. Cool. And since we threw that motorized on, we can do more attack. Even though we technically get less armor, I'm kind of okay with that. Good, we busted these guys out of here. Thank the Lord. Well, or thank, thank Big Brother, I should say. Thank you, Big Brother. Delay, very cool. Heavy battery, cool. We're going to focus on that one, and then we might focus more on other ships. Even though, actually, I'm going to focus on this so we can get some more fuel from whatever, from wherever we get it. Kind of hang out for now. If you can strike that way, that would be really good. Move on down. Come on. Oh, yeah. We're going to circle these guys. That'd be nice. Destruction 2. Very good. Give me some rubber from that, too, because we, we're, we're out of rubber. Holy crap. That's a lot of steel. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of steel. Wow. Wow. Steal me, daddy. Uh, just in case, come over here and help defend. Nice. Interwar artillery is always good. Let's go and do a couple more shippy things. Like light cruisers, because I love light cruisers. They're my favorite screens. Abolish the council is good. Let us uh, control the media. So while there are no outright reaction or anti-communist newspapers allowed, there are still dissent. And a live discussion between pacifists, councilists, Leninists, and nationalists, and that weakens us. Dr. G recommends we need control over the media. God dang, that's a lot of political power. What do I do with my PP? So much. I'll probably go with more infantry though, even though I like 5% more soft attack. So, more breakthrough for infantry equipment is probably a really good idea. Uh, here. Uh. Not, it's been a while since I've used heavy tanks, actually. I'd probably go with medium tanks still, though. Here, though. Fighters, bombers. I'm not I'm using close air support, I think. Small ships? Torpedo attack, not bad. Capital ship, though. That's the way we gotta go. Here. Fighters. Yeah. Cool. Where is the next best place for us to uh, pounce, we'll say? Where shall we pounce? Oh, right here. Pop. Nice little sliver that we can take out. Slowly, slowly grabbing just a bit more air XP as well. If we showed up, we actually have defended this area. Nice. Both up attack, and actually we're getting more strength it looks like. We're still way out of tanks, but that's okay. How's our industry? Well, we're improving somewhat. Getting some more fighters, which is nice. It's always nice to have. Just in case, before we forget, I'm going to go ahead and throw some more guys over here. That would be muy bueno, if we could. Another 100 fighters, yes please. You know what, go ahead and grab me the next group of close air support as well, because we can... Throw them both right there. Thank you. And... Goodbye. Cool. Mm. There's nothing I can do for this stuff. Less than 100... Oh, what? Well, we have a lot of stability. Wow. Go and grab that. That's fine. Cool. Less enemies that we must be concerned with. Kind of keep hanging out for now. We haven't lost the Zaragoza yet. I know I'm spending a lot of time here in Spain. And just because I love Spain. That's why. I love Spain. Help short the line a little bit. There you go. Counterattack. Hmm. Road to guard. I mean, the road to guard is looking pretty good already. Can you do anything else with these panzers, though? Do we have anything spare that we can have that's not 
hurting us too much. Maybe a little bit of engineers. No, not, there's literally nothing that we throw on that would be good. We're still out of tanks, so maybe it would be a bad idea to throw this on there. 24 per division. How about artillery? Artillery is pretty cheap. Support artillery. We must have do that one. Mm-hmm. Ah. I spy with my, uh... Monstein. A good area to attack. Go ahead. And Sokol, just one more division. It's not much, but one more one. Control the media. And how about we have Grosse Bruder? Comrade Goebbels has made it clear. The Germanic people are one big family in which everyone has a purpose. Father State will provide you with everything. But if you betray your siblings, Big Brother will tell Father, and Father would not be pleased. I said that really weird. <laughs> I said that incredibly weird. But I enjoyed it. Mm. Dr. G. Daddy knows best. Go ahead and have them melt. Oh, well, you already moved that way. Cool. Anywhere else we could do something like that? No, not really. That's alright. Both come here then. And we can go that way. Can they pierce us? Nope. Basic medium batteries. Very nice. We're waiting on that one. I'm focusing so quite a bit on this naval stuff, but uh, really don't have a navy we can use too much. I'm not getting any naval speed because I need to save up this fuel for later, as well as use it for the tanks right now. We have to be technologically advanced, very technologically advanced. Good. Destroy these guys next. Still training. This marine division is looking okay. It's looking okay. It's definitely okay. Keep building, guys. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead and go to limited conscription. That's fine. We'll grab the next tank thing later on. Good. Awesome. Better oil processing. Resource extraction would be pretty beneficial for us right now. Tank-wise, we're doing okay. Over here, maintenance companies. Let's grab that immediately. Nice. Grosser Bruder. Uh, no. Oh, look at that. Even more political power gain. Less justify war goes on. Ideology drift defense. That's not bad. So loyal officers glorify war. Actually, the memory of the trenches is not good for us. Backwards south, we need to get rid of that. Forced isolation, that's not good. Memory of the trenches, ooh, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's not good. Oh, it's for the re revolution, first off. That's a great description. Tremendous description. Cool. Go ahead and go where you need to go. Which means both of you come right here. And prepare. Do you have a planning bonus? Yes. <coughs> oh. You're saying you want to build even more factories here. I agree. Even more, more, more. Because it's not even 38 yet, so. And we need plenty of factorinos. Go ahead and help them out. Good. 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 Ah, I love tanks so much. Well, at least when I have tanks. When enemies have tanks, I don't love them. Look at, god dang, that political power. The only other time I've ever gotten three political power in a single day is when I played as a Royal and Old Rural Blues. That's the last time I remembered having this much political power. Come down here. Uh, not there. We're gonna cut Spain in half. With the power of light tanks, I'm gonna saw this Spain in half. Cool. Uh, we could get armored cars, we might do that. Military police are still pretty important, and we also have to get field hospitals. But we're gonna need a lot of support equipment. Holy cow. Ooh, artillery's not looking good. Motorized is doing better, though. That's kind of nice. Go ahead and throw more on here. But throw a few more on tanks first. Great war. Oh, good. Nice. Spread the revolution. Good. Panzer's Germanismus. Let's do Veshoff's Commission. So the Veshoff's Commission is the de facto successor to the Socialisierungs Social Commission that oversaw the socialization of the economy during the revolution. It is made up of representatives from the workers and farmers councils and is the highest executive authority in the economy of the republic. This is a republic? Okay. Oh, look at that. Vanguard socialists. I love it. You go there, and you just kind of zoom, 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 zoom. For funsies, just give them even force. Oh, force attack. That really paid off. All right. Well, we saw June half. Let's focus on the northern portion. Cool. 
cool. Yeah, people are going to react to that. Alright, let's move up north. And go that way. Help them out. Oh, open party membership. More stability. That's not really worth it for us, though. Let's go grab this, just because I already said, I said we would. So We're going to attack because we can attack. Thank you. Um, very good. Oh, they really want to attack us. Yeah, I love being on defense. Cool. Let them come down here so we can just move around them. There you go. Perfect. Am I causing issues for the normal Spain? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't really care. But it's much more fun doing it like this. Alright, go ahead. I love bullying the enemies. Yay! Um, okay, now I'll do this one. So, the unity of all Germanic people is the first and foremost concern of our country. The Hobbit is published. I want a copy of it now. Yes. That would be quite delightful. Go and try to get over the river, which worked very easily for us. Good. Go ahead. I'm not even going to pay attention anymore, really. I'll give you some force attack. It only costs us four command power. That's pretty light. Pretty easy, right? Some more motorized, huh? Cool. Well, throw some more motorized on here, then. A little bit, even less armor, but helped us with our attack, defense, and, you know, good stuff like that. Where did the other tank go? Oh, he's just kind of cruising. He's literally just moving around here. Oh, you couldn't win there? Man, no, just come this way, come this way, man, come this way. Wait, are you attacking this way or that way? Huh. Cool. I guess. A little different. Turreted second battery, very nice. Doing quite well on fuel. Hey, this is looking nice. Monstein, are you learning a lot? I hope so. Tailman? Cool. Uh, where are you? Ah, oh, you're over here. Good, good, good. I love the certain Spanish group. Nice. Now we can do red imperialism. Not bad. Mm, war puppet go against Austrian Reich and Switzerland. Proclaim best place. In. I don't think I'm really up to take out the Poles yet, though. They're allied with Lithuania, Ukraine, and Belarus. That seems like quite a bit of a group to try to take out. Yes, quite quite a bit. Mikhail? Yeah, I can't see how many divisions they have. I think we'd probably be pretty weaker than them right now, though. So, we're not going to do that. Mm hmm. Red Thunder. Dorsch Bruch. Faster building of... Art of, uh... Well, it could be artillery or tanks. Infantry attack defense, that's not bad. Vox Marine. Hmm. A mighty navy. I'd definitely do a mighty navy. So many options, man. This is almost too many options. New Carabiner. Uh, resource wise, consumer goods. New industrial revolution. Ooh, civilian factory constructions. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm. Let's rush that. So, Committee for Landnutzung. So, Germany is not a small country, and the long division of it has left some marks. There are some areas far less developed than the national average. The KFLN should ensure sufficient infrastructure, even in rural areas. As a bonus, this committee is also tasked with finding new resource fields. Yes, I want to build up. I didn't realize that, but I want to build up that stuff as fast as possible. Revolution Parade. More weekly war support. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad to get. I like this one, though. I'll do both. Why not? Even more war support is always good. Drum up more war support, please. Thank you. Ah, this is beautiful. Look at that. Monstein has done a great job so far. And can we get even more planes here? Yes. Fuel refining as well. Nice. We will do some more resource efficiency gains. Grab some of that, though. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Let's come here. Come here to here. That'd be nice. Oh, very good. Three, God dang, that's so much political power. It seems like we're trading everything away just for political power, even though we could be maybe getting something else. Cool. Cadez? Cadez? 
Nice. They can't touch me. Not really. Hopefully. Three a day. God dang. Not. There's still not enough factories. But we're doing pretty well in guns, though. That's nice. I like that a lot. They are doing a desperate defense, it looks like. Yep, they died. They just straight up died. They are fake news. They are done diddly dunners. Wow. All right, and they're done. All right, well, good job, uh, Monstein. Now we can focus on making this game go even faster. Faster, faster, faster. Improve cruiser ship hull. Very good. Uh, yeah, no wonder we have six research slots, because there's a lot of naval stuff that we need to research that is not done. Holy cow. Um, infrastructure. So, Republic's Autobahn. With more and more cars used for personal transport, we should build a high-speed road that connects our cities. This will also help transporting materials between cities probably a little bit more easy. Alright, so if that's the case, let's go ahead and go back to training these guys. Because we need that naval XP. Everyone's going to train. Maintenance Company 1's very good. 37. It's almost 38. Go and grab that. And we'll get some more research speed immediately. Good. Good, good, good. Faster, faster, faster. And since we're no longer at war, or trying to help people who are at war, we can probably save on light tanks a little bit. Maybe we can save on support equipment and maybe some motorized. Maybe a few guns here and there. Well, what other wars are currently going on? No wars. Also, as we go further and further east... Okay, that's interesting. It gets worse. There's so many broken up states here that I don't like this. <laughs> Especially India. Now, we know all China's supposed to be exploded, but India? Man, what happened to the Raj? That's disgusting. Oh, look at Abyssinia, Be Beta, Israel. Oh, God, I love those hats. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yachez, Jach, Vitovich. Is he like a Fr French, Russian, Jewish person? Hmm. Interesting to say the least. Ooh, I wanted more research, too, whatever. Prussian Congo, does that, is that worth helping them out? No. Congolese, that's not even her. Oh, man, he is dark. Eugene, you are very dark. Very cool, though. I don't think there's really any point to help me help these guys out, maybe. Yeah, I don't want to get involved down there. Cool, cool. We need just one. Yeah. Oh, I need this. Oh, I should have done the other one, then. Cool, whatever. Rostov Ershisum. German was never the country with the most resources. However, with new technology, we might be able to find new resource deposits on German soil. Uh, oh, yeah, Goose. Yeah, go to work on me, why not? Build, 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 build. I can't change ministers either. And I really wish we had military staff officers or members. So having all this political power really doesn't mean too much when you can't do anything with it. It's, it's quite sad, but no, it is what it is. Uh, I guess, technically, at least we get political power, we can get more guys. Gunther, who's a former Imperial, all right. Oh, when you guys showed up. Cool. And you are what? Oh, more... Oh, I sent you to Japan. You came back. Okay. Um, there you go. It's fine for now. I do want to go to war with these guys, though. I just don't know how strong they are. It might help if we build radar, but we need to build ourselves up more, 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 more. In any case, we'll probably do it like, like a normal Holy Four game where we attack Poland. Yeah, we'll probably attack Poland. I like attacking Poland. Cool. And let's do this one. Second Industrial Revolution. While Germany already has a very good and dedicated industry, to keep up with the capitalists, we need to build it up further. While we have peace, we can commit to this end. Beautiful. Falk. Led by... Tailman, for now. Because I don't want to use my artillery just... Or my artillery. My tanks to guard the entire border between these guys. I'll do that one. Because I can grab another general, probably. Anton. Actually, you know what? Just pop them all out for now. Like that. Like that. I know this is, makes it more complicated and more convoluted. But I just like doing it like this so I don't have to do it later. Good. And you guys will come to this group. Nice. Don't have to worry about it. Don't even have to think about it. These guys are set up for success. Cool. Marco. That's a... Oh, is that a German name? I guess so. Felix? General Max Army Size... Oh my goodness. 
That's so bad. Eight? Are you kidding me? What? Well, yeah, whatever. 38. Grab some radar. And then we'll grab some more infantry stuff. That'd be nice. Yeah, we're about to produce a crap ton of civilian factories incredibly quickly. In about two weeks. Consumer goods factories goes down by 10%. We lose weekly stability and war support, which is totally fine for me for what we're about to do. 30% more uh, mobile infantry, because that's always good to do. It gives you more benefits compared to the other, other side. But, uh, mmm. Mmm. I'm ready. The issue of sexuality. Ever since the glorious socialist November Revolution, a homo and transsexuality and all of the forms of sexual expression have been decriminalized and, moreover, pushed into normal normalcy by pioneers such as Comrade Magnus Hirschfeld. However, similar things could also be observed in multiple centers of future is ideology. Fiume has always been openly accepting of homosexualities, while French escadronists in the room even promote it within the army. More and more voices have arisen, denouncing sexual depravity as a root cause for futurism and the deterioration of the German youth. Today, the NMAPD faction of the Reichsrecht Congress has therefore brought in a call for the recriminalization of sexual deviance. For this question, Magnus Hirschfeld has talked in front of the Congress about their mistake to limit the rights of the hard-working proletarian German gays and third genders, while Comrade Maslow from the KPD faction denounced the NMAPD for non-Marxist thinking due to their beliefs that not class but sexuality shapes the ideology of man, and also has warned of recriminalization that would further dis disenfranchise non-straight comrades and would push them towards futurism. This is a weird mod. Has to stop recriminalize it. We cannot take away rights from so many proletarians. Just make sure that the VK VKRSS suppresses any French influence. You know what? Let's go further. Let's go faster. Let's go. Let's go nuts, man. That's you and me. We're gonna go nuts. Nice. St Stefan, not Stefan. Stefan. Oh yeah. The Allemande. You know what? Since we're producing factories, why don't we just consume a Genossenschaft? Uh, the group, the Shaft, is an old socialist comradeship that provides affordable food to workers and since the before the revolution. We should help supply them German proletariat. Yes. Did I say we were done building civilian factories? No, we are going to build until we, like, we're out of building. Oh, nice. Very good. Wow, that mobile infantry is going to take forever to do. Uh, we're not building fast enough. Come on, guys. Come on. April 9th in like three weeks. More. We have one, two, three, four. Four full lines of civilian uh, factories being made at the cost of other things. That's okay, though. Uh, free trade would be... Hmm. You lose resources, but is it worth it? It might be, according to some. Tactical bombers are nice, but we're not going to focus on that. I'm focusing a lot on my navy. Even though there's not really much else that we can really focus on at the same time. Um, cannons, is that really worth researching right now? Not really, honestly. That seems okay. Carriers would be okay to research. Let's go and do that. Let's get transport ships just because I don't want to end up like not researching them and then having them around or wondering why I can't naval invade later on. So, you guys are training, which is nice. I should really build some, some military factories right now, but I'm going to wait. We have all these civilian factories that we got to use right now. Keep building, keep building, build, 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 build. You guys are doing okay as well. Um, you need a new field marshal. Emil Müller. Oh, that's not bad. Vision recovery rate. Cool. There you go. Now you're whole again. Now if we could, we could go to war with Switzerland, which is not bad. We do have cores on the group, so... Are they allied with anyone? Are they protected by anybody? No? Cool. We might just go to war with them then. Let's try that one. Marching to the Alps. The Austrian and Swiss are not... Are, they are German. Not even they can deny this fact though. However, they are not part of the state of Germanic people. This anomaly must end. Uh, I would like to get Austria as a core. I wonder if there's an event later on where we can like integrate them into our lands. That would actually be really nice if we could. I kind of doubt that there would be. But you never know. Uh, and India is exploding. Cool. I'm going to do this just in case the French don't like it that I'm invading uh, Switzerland. So you, you guys come over here. And before we forget, we're going to have these guys come over here as well. And I'm going to have you guys help me support the attack into Switzerland. Good luck. Because you guys are also going to help support me invading Switzerland. There you go. Um, I don't want you there. I want you guys over here, probably. 
push this way around there. The Great Hamburg Dock Strike. Comrade Goebbels has laid down the law. You bet your butt we did. Good. Cool. And then you guys come down here. We're gonna need a Parado. Cool. 38. Uh, carrier trade interdiction. I'm really focusing on battleships, though. But I've chosen this one quite a bit. We can go with the carriers for now. Probably. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, you guys need some more. Here too. Cool. Alpine region. March into the Alps. Good. Alright, my bad guys. Now, you, you just saw that I completed this focus. March into the Alps. Now, if we do that, we go to war, apparently. We lose new industrial revolution. So, I'm like, you know what? How about we don't go to war yet? Let's hang out. Let's keep building ourselves up. Because Switzerland might join a faction in my cause World War II right now that we can't really afford, so as much as I'd love to, let's just kind of hang out for now. But anyways, uh, how about we do... Eh, that one's okay. That one's okay as well. Let's get the Bavarian question. How do we do that one? So, with the knowledge about the attempted coup in Bavaria, we should seriously focus on rooting out anti-communists down there, yes. Yes, I didn't realize that if I go to war with uh, Switzerland, We'd end up going to war with a faction called the Commonwealth of Nations. It, 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 things happen like that, you know. Just normal things like that happen. Cool. Let's do that. Cool. Actually, where is the faction? Ah. Ah, it's the UK, and Switzerland will join the UK. Okay. So we might just go to war with Poland instead, then. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually beat up the Polish. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. That's a good question to ask. But to get a confirmation, let's build a little bit of radar here first. Just to give us some idea about what's going on over here. And I have moved my armies back around to where they should be. We got a competing machine, which is nice. Machine goes... Machine, machine, machine. Uh, extraction, you might as well do that. We could use more resources later on anyways. If that's the case, we're going to come right there and try to divide these guys up like that. So thank you. Ennui is just killing everyone right now. Wow. But yeah, I really want to focus on just building more factories right now. Build, 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 build. Because if we don't build now, we probably won't get an opportunity later to as well. Uh, any ships being made? Convoys? Yeah, probably not. Improved cruiser hull. Hey, that's not bad. Even though we already, I think we already have one here too. I'm not sure why I'm building all this stuff up when it's not really necessary. Hmm. Maybe I'm just not thinking about this. That's probably the answer. I'm just not thinking at all right now. God, I love level 4 anti-air. Now that's a ni nice light cruiser. Cool. Cool. So all we need is chromium and some rubber. That's not bad, actually. That's actually not too bad, even though I could... I should probably build some more military factories, but it is what it is. It is 1938. Maybe I can afford to build one. Maybe. Okay, I'll build one at a time. So especially since I'm running out of space to build stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Right there. Rhineland. So what do we do with Bavaria? After we know know about the ideas to turn Bavaria against us, we cannot ignore it for much longer. We have to act fast before Bavaria destabilizes even further. However, there are two ideas brought forth in the Reich, Reichsrat Congress. Comrade Georg Engel wants to appease the Bavarians by giving more power to the peasants' councils and hiring the standard of living in the countryside. Comrade Hermann Gottman, on the other hand, thinks that we should collectivize the land and use our VKRSS to solve the situation. Bring violence, or violence does nothing to us. Or, show strength. Um, well, since we chose Dr. G, hmm, I think Dr. G says, listen to daddy. Yes, we need to show strength. Listen to daddy. Uh, propaganda, this stuff is okay down here. It's not really necessary. Yeah, we can wait on that stuff. Red imperialism is nice and all, but we can wait on that too. Oh, civilian construction speed. Yep, so decentralized planned economy. Here's no reason or to change the German economic system. The councils gave the workers the highest level of self-determination to create an economic system by the worker for the woke up. Good. With a lot of PP involved, too. Wowzers. So we're going to leave one thing on military factories at all time while still building even more civilians. Oh, look at that. A battleship. Beautiful. Even though screen-wise, that is not very good. Holy cow. Oh, 
That's the College Stein. Thank you. Transport ships would be nice. Go ahead and get Excavation 2. We're going to need it for later. We are definitely going to need it for later. Uh, how is everything else coming along? It's coming along okay, like Citra Height. We honestly... We'll keep that one. Because I'm taking you off. Because you could be Garrison's. Good. Nice. That'd be, that'd be very good. Yeah, what do I do with my political power? Like, this is... A little crazy to have this much political power. Um, I mean, yeah, we can maybe raise our party levels in the area. But without a military staff, there's not really much I can do with it. Um, popular population, synthetic resources. We can do that. Power to the Current rule of party is libertarian Marxism. I can't do that one? No, I can't do that one. We're vanguard socialists. Okay. Cool, we go down this way, come down that way. More construction speed. I actually kind of like that. It's not bad. Remove Prussian perfectionism. What does Prussian perfectionism do to us? Uh, that's okay. More reliability, less production efficiency cap, though, which is not okay. Industrial democracy. Civilian factory construction speed. Oh, we can do that. Industrial democracy, one of the core ideals of uh, socialism is that the proletariat controls both state and economy. We're proud to say that we have achieved that. With the power finally in the hands of the worker, nothing will stop us. Hopefully not. And we do get infinite war goal against, hopefully, Switzerland and Austrian Reich. Which should have both gone. Which is great. Which is what we love. You, me, and everyone else. No questions asked. Better not be any questions asked. Good. Oh, we have the radar done too. Can we see what they're doing over here? Mm, probably not, but I still don't want to go to war. I still want to just build, build, build. I should have went for the civilian factory one faster. Or before. Be made. There's really, it's really peaceful. Well, I guess Africa isn't. Neither is Asia, but... That's okay with me. I mean, I don't really care that much. Yeah, these places... Not really interested in how they're killing each other. Especially up here, in what we, what we usually call Mongolia. I can't say I'm super interested. What happened over here? Norwegian military government... North the heck? North Atlantic People's Council. Revisionist Socialist. Conservative Gustav V. Okay. Industrial democracy is always nice. More factory outputs. Max factories in the state would be actually really helpful. Has completed focus centralized. Oh oh maybe actually we should not have gone down this way. We honestly should have gone down this way probably instead. That's my bad. That's actually really, really my fault. Mm. Oh well. Support initiative. While the German worker knows that he doesn't have to work for himself, it could prove beneficial to create a special support for comrades that show great initiative. Absolutely. We still can't see what they're doing over here. Mm. Disappointing. Quite disappointing. Raider patrols, very cool. Grab the next one as well. Any other ships being made? Yes, but no. Support initiative. We're going to have this done soon. Good. Well, good. Keep keep building, keep building, keep building. There goes India. It is 1938, September, almost October 1938. When did Greece get this? When, when was there the Straits Commission Maximus? Does... Do you guys have... No? Is that a core? Oh, uh, Greece? It is. Wow. Anatolia. Does Turkey have a unique focus tree in here? In this mod? Yeah, they might. No? They got National Spirits, though. And that is the biggest Yugoslavia I've ever seen. Well, I mean, Montenegro. That's the biggest Montenegro I've ever seen. But Yugoslavia, I've seen bigger. You've seen better. That's not bad. Cool. Let's finish up and do one more focus before we end the episode. What is that? Hello, Russian Democratic Republic. Alright, cool. Support initiative. Awesome. And let's do something over here. I haven't done nothing with this stuff so far. Complexa? Uh, forts are nice and all, but we really don't need that right now. Electronics. The uh, Almond. I don't know. Which one do you think it should be better right now? Armor or artillery? I'm thinking we're probably going to go down armor just because we're already using light tanks. I want to focus on them more. Air stuff seems okay as well. Yeah, it seems okay. Research coal liquidization. That's not bad. Monthly population is okay. I come down here to get more max factories in the state. All power. We can't do this one because 
we are not libertarian Marxists. That is my fault. So... Unser, eh, I'll just do this one. Unser Volksführer. Comrade Garibos cares for the people. He gives the Germans land, bread, and peace. He defends us from the Slavs and the Franks, the Anglos and the Italians, for he's a leader of Germany. Yes. And I guess that's pretty much going to leave today's episode here. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I guess I will see you all tomorrow, as there will most likely be more conflict in Europe as we enjoy each other further. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.